Thank you for all uh, everyone coming today. Uh, if you could please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Chapman Coffee. Good morning. I invite you to pray with me. Almighty God, our Creator and Redeemer, we thank you for the many blessings of life which you bestow upon us, especially for the gifts that you have bestowed upon us that are in this room with us this day. Our family members, our community, those who serve and protect, and those who are four-legged and serve alongside to serve and protect. As we gather at this very special occasion to recognize them and commence their service, we ask your blessing upon all those who are in service, especially the handlers and these canines. We ask that you bless their service. We ask that you bless their, their cooperation, their collaboration within our department and with other departments and within our community. We ask that their service would be blessed throughout their entirety. Help them, O oh Lord. This we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, so thank you, Reverend. And I myself personally give God all the glory for the opportunity that I have to train the dogs and be an Indiana State Trooper. It's a really fulfilling job for us. Thanks for attending the graduation of Indiana State Police Canine Academy, Class 2017-5. I want to recognize and give a special thanks to the families of these troopers and deputies and police officers for supporting them through the 12-week school and also for allowing four-legged police officers to live with them and their with their families in their home. I mentioned to new handlers every class and if you're here every year for a graduation you've heard me say it before if your spouse isn't jealous of your dog you're not spending enough time with it. I also like to thank the leadership of the Sheriff's Departments and the Indiana State Police for picking these handlers. They did real well on that endeavor and I'm really happy with this group of men in this class. So some things that happened in this class this last 12 weeks. We had our second baby that was born during the class. We had our first marriage during the canine school. And the honeymoon had to be postponed until graduation. She was good with it, I guess. This class we had uh, four female dogs, three for patrol, which we've never had before. We've had single purpose, but never patrol. This is the most outside agencies we've had attend the whole course. Danville PD, Shelby County Sheriff's Department, Washington County Sheriff's Department, and Jasper County Sheriff's Department. We thank those sheriffs for sending them to our school, having the confidence and faith in us to get the job done. The ideal canine handler must be proactive, streetwise, police officer who can work on his own with little or no supervision. He must be able to take charge and lead the way. The officer needs to be able to handle stress and think on his feet. He needs to have some natural ability to associate, to communicate with animals. This group of handlers selected to fulfill these requirements. My fellow trainers are very happy with the selection. In this group of handlers, we have two field training officers, one firearms instructor, two certified ILAA instructors, one certified level three mix sap, our truck inspector. In this class, Trooper John Hall named his canine partner Smitty in honor and remembrance of fallen trooper Herbert Wade Smith, killed in the line of duty December 5th, 1946. He was called Smitty by his co-workers, close friends, and family. We are pleased that he chose to do this. One of uh, the fallen troopers' family members is here, Betty Smith Parker. We're so happy to have her here, and I hope she appreciates that we're going to honor her loved one with while well, naming one of our dogs after our fallen trooper. <laughs> we 
Six hours of endurance, 12 weeks of rigorous training at numerous locations in three different districts. Hey, I'm talking. During this school, handlers have taken an untrained, high-drive canine that appeared to be out of control like this one, and through patience and hard work, turned it into a disciplined patrol canine. They train no matter the weather conditions without complaint. These graduates follow direction, ask questions, and displayed a desire to learn and improve. They cannot hide their nervousness during certification nor their excitement when they accomplished the task and were certified. I challenge these new troopers that the mission is clear-cut and well-defined. The, the set of philosophies you develop in order to achieve that mission will determine whether you make a beneficial contribution to the role police dogs play in modern law enforcement. Working a police service dog places many extraordinary stresses on the family. It's important that the officer's spouse fully understands the implication of this career move. The hours are frequently long. You will frequently be interrupted during family events to respond to emergencies when you're off duty. Your time off is not really your own as you're required to maintain and take care of your dog. Now you're quiet. I'm almost done here. When you go on vacation, it's going to require that you make arrangements for someone to babysit your new partner or kindle him while you're away. You also need to exercise your partner daily, whether you're at work or at home. So your off-duty time is really no longer your own. And then everyone must accept that in the family or the household. As a dog handler, you will need extra support from your spouse on many occasions with work-related stressors. As I mentioned before, these graduates follow direction, ask questions, and display a desire to learn and improve, which was outstanding. I'm proud and honored that I had the opportunity to train with these men and have complete confidence that their service as canine handlers will be conducted in the highest tradition of their departments and us with the Indiana State Police. I want to thank these graduates for their hard work and look forward to watching them grow as a canine team and training with them in the future. I'm part of the whole training staff. Congratulations to Godspeed. I'd like to introduce our boss, Superintendent Douglas G. Carter. Kevin Waters, everybody. <laughs> Dennis, Mick, Kevin, and Chris. Um, here we are again. It, it seems uh, that we just continue to repeat this cycle, but uh, man, what a pleasure. And I tell you, thank you very 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 much um, the commitment you talked about the commitment Kevin but the commitment lies with um, those of you that make this happen I'm, I'm very very grateful to the family members that are here thank you so very much for taking the time to be here I, I love to see the other agencies that are involved in this training uh, to see that interaction that level of commitment that, and, and the, probably the forever relationships that have been forged over these last 12 weeks so it's a, it's a pleasure to be a part of this I think this is our, our fourth one. I think likely is our fourth. And every single time, I think I, I, as a leader of this agency, owe you a tremendous, tremendous thanks for not only participating, but allowing these guys to do what they do. Um, you're as much of a part of it, as Kevin said, almost as they are. And uh, I'm very, very grateful, particularly in these difficult times when it's not real popular to be in this uniform today. But I love standing with such dedicated professionals, and I'll do that until my final day. So it's an absolute pleasure. One thing I learned after the first graduation is not to stand on the same side as the dog. <laughs> so once we, when we, when we do this, guys, I just simply ask that once uh, your, your buddy is seated, I'm going to go to the other side. And I'll feel a whole lot better about that. So I'll, I'll look forward to standing with you here in just a couple of minutes. Okay, now we're going to recognize the individual canine teams. Trooper Richard Clay and Canine Yana. Deputy Paul Jenkins and Canine Lenny. Trooper Kyle Glaze and Canine Nala. Trooper Jonathan Hall and Canine Smitty. Deputy James Horine and K-9 Kaiser. Mm -hmm. 
Trooper Thomas Ratliff and Canine Tora. Trooper Dustin Rubenecker and Canine Odin. Officer Jeffrey Slayback and Canine Zeke. Yeah. Yeah. It's a county dog. It's a county dog. <laughs> <laughs> And lastly is Deputy Larry Suarez and K-9 Alpha who had to work today. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce K-9 Class 2017-005. Before the uh, closing prayer, uh, thank you for being with us today. The uh, K-9 team would like to uh, mentioned that there is a reception following this event out here in the museum. So please stop by, have some refreshments, and uh, enjoy looking at the items in the museum. I invite you to pray. Heavenly Father, once again we thank you for the many blessings which you bestow upon us. And this is a wonderful example of such, such compassionate service, dedicated service, professional service, which stands here before us this day. We congratulate those who have invested so much time and effort and work and sacrifice into, into making this day occur. We end up this, this moment asking for your blessing upon them and their service as they return to their areas of community, to their cities, to their counties, to their areas of service. We ask that, that they be provided with the opportunity to serve loyally and faithfully Uphold them, lead them, and guide them. This we pray. Amen. Amen.